Okay, hi, good evening, everyone. I believe we are now live in Facebook. Let me check my my uh, timeline. Um, and this is a good day uh, to be live uh, with an interesting product we have. Um, and now uh, welcome to to a DSG webinar, uh, Vikas and Shirish and Leonard. Let me just do a quick introduction, yeah, of, of who you are. So together with me uh, this evening, I will I have with me a team from Singapore. Um, the the product is called uh, Lean Classroom, and this is actually a uh, a platform, yeah, for all teachers and um, trainers or lecturers that want to teach online, um, and the good thing about link classroom for me is because i've been using it i think it's so easy you just log in as a teacher and you start teaching that's it right and then after that you are able to 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 look at the recording look at the data analytics so to me that is something that i want yeah as a, as a teacher so um because i if you are ready with your demo uh, for uh link maybe you want to yeah. Uh, telling us okay yes, so, yes. so yeah 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 thanks uh miss anita for the introduction and uh, hi everyone uh, i'm a founder ceo of uh, learngram a product of which is link classroom and we have made this product with a lot of input from different teachers and professors and design it for education uh, and uh, we are happy to show you how the product works and uh, get your feedback and uh, make you try it so, uh, Shirish, uh, can you sign up as a teacher? So, the website of the product is called Link Classroom. It's a web app. And uh, you can see here, it's Link, L-I-N-K, and uh, Classroom is also on the bottom line. So, Shirish, maybe you can sign up as a teacher. We can show them. So, there is an easy sign up here. You know, just can sign up using Google or any email ID. And uh, there's OTP based uh, system. You can use OTP or a password. And it comes to your email. So this is the a dashboard of the link classroom. So as a teacher, uh, first USP of this product is essentially to create virtual classes. So you can create your own classes here. So Shirish, can you create a new class, please? So here you can put a course name, batch name and description. The benefit of uh, creating a classroom means that you do not have to send the link again and again. One student become part of your class, they can uh, just join in the class. It's like in a physical classroom. Once they know the classroom, uh, you know, you don't need to send it. So this is a one-time onboarding of students in your class. Also, you can add any faculty, co-teachers, which who are sharing the class with you. So there can be two or many teachers, as many as teachers possible to join the classroom and they can co-share it. Once you create a class and goes to the next step, you can invite student in two methods. First is you can use a class code, share it with the student, or you can send them an email if you know the student email ID and invite them. So there is a double security in the system. Essentially when a class code or an email ID has been sent, when student comes in, it get again approved by the teacher when he joins the classroom. So that's how the classes are created. So here you can see Shirish has created seven classes and uh, Shirish will join the class. So this is the first part of the USP of the product. Second part is when you start the live class. Now uh, Shirish is starting the live class. So the second USP of this product is class setting. Shirish, maybe you can, here you can write today's topic of the class. So this is class setting. This is the second USP of the product. Essentially class settings are divided into two parts. First is entry related criteria. Second is uh, in class controls. In entry related, you can set how students will come in the class, how they should behave. For example, first setting is you can mute people on entry. Second setting is that you can, for first 15 minutes, students do not have to wait at the lobby. If they're part of your existing class, the first 15 minutes, like in a physical classroom, they can just enter the class. And after 15 minutes, you know exactly which students are coming late. Third criteria for entry is the video policy. You can set a video policy based on bandwidth. If you want compulsory video on, optional or off. Based on this, student can only enter the class if his video is on. Example, if compulsory has been set. And if it's off, student will enter all without video. So this allows teachers to control the bandwidth requirement 
and also set up video policy. So these are some of the entry criteria. Second, we have in-class controls. They are, uh, you know, the important one is hand raise mode. Hand raise mode essentially how it works that currently, like when you raise the student raises the hand, once you approve, then only he can speak. Other than he cannot speak. So this maintains much more uh, quietness in the class. And it's like in a physical classroom that student can only raise the hand and only teachers will allow them to speak. So these are some of the class setting we have put. And uh, we will bring more and more settings into class to help teachers customize the classroom experience. So this you can enter the class. Um, sorry, Vikas, can I interject and ask question? Yes, yes please. Um, yes, please. Apart, apart from giving the code yeah, to the students, I can yeah. also add the students manually, right? If I know their emails. Yes, right? yes. You, you, okay. yes. You can add with the class code. Uh, mm -hmm. Class code student can join the class or you can send them an email and then they get invited. Okay. Either is possible. Yes. Then the third USP of this product is called Smart Board. Essentially, this is a multimedia content delivery, uh, you know, around it. So we have first, so this is the third USP. In this, we have integrated everything for teachers to teach, uh, you know, seamlessly. First part is a, you can upload any presentation inside. Second, you can go to, uh, you can see the presentation loading here. You can go to whiteboard. So the whiteboard has been integrated inside. You know, a whiteboard is here. And also a YouTube can be put in. So she is, she is using via uh, like mouse, but if someone has an iPad, they can use iPad also. But then you also have a YouTube here. So all type of media can be imported inside and teachers can deliver it seamlessly. The second main part of this smart board is a 2P teaching method, which is where we have innovated a lot. Essentially, what you see on the right top above recording icon is what students are looking at. Students are not looking at the presentation yet, which is very helpful for teachers because this allows teachers to prepare the material before they present it. And this also improves student engagement uh, so that teacher does not have to uh, screen share and go different folder. Their personal folders are being shown or personal YouTube videos are shown. Here, the experience is seamless. So here you can see that Shirish has annotated on the presentation. The moment he's ready to present it, he will click on the media share button. And now on the top, you can, uh, you can see students are looking at the presentation and yourself. So this allows teachers to always prepare the material. Now Shirish can move to a whiteboard. Shirish, can you move to a whiteboard? And you can see that he can continue to draw here while he's explaining the concept. And whenever he's ready for it, he can now click on the button to share. And now whiteboard has been switched. So what essentially is happening from a student side, he's getting a seamless experience of the content of the teacher. So teachers have full freedom to use more and more type of different type of content, but the delivery is seamless in nature. There's another benefit of this. The recording of the lecture comes out very smooth. There is no uh, no editing required. It's a seamless video which comes out of it. Shreesh, can you start the lecture recording also? So there's a lecture recording button also there. You can just start that recording and uh, we'll show the benefit in the end of it. So this smart board has screen share button also. Shreesh, can you show the screen share button? Which is usually available in any other uh, tool. So that button exists, but the idea of whiteboard and media share is to give teacher uh, more control of before they present it. Yeah. She is fine. This is the screen share button is there. If you want to show it, she is, you can show anything screen. Uh, OK. So this is the what he's presenting in the smart board. Then also, you can change the video. Shirish, can you resize the video size? He can resize the video as he wants to to ensure the content is uh, clear you know you can move around any type of the direction Shirish, can you click on the media share button please yeah so here he is presenting it you can see he can move around the video so that is on the smart board then what we have in the system is a classroom view Shirish, can you go to classroom view please 
Okay, so in classroom views, essentially teacher can present what you can see on top right is teacher is presenting the material. And now teachers can see the entire class in one, one time. So you can also adjust how many students you want to see. Rish, can you reduce the tile size, please? You can see you can see more and more students how you want. So you can adjust how many students you want to see. Then, I think, uh, I think this, sorry, sorry, because I think this is a very interesting feature because you know while you are teaching, you would want to see your students, right? Interacting yes, yes, to you. Exactly. I think exactly. While you're teaching, you can okay. show. And also you can change the presentation. You can see here mm -hmm. on the top slides, Shirish can click on the arrow button. Shirish, can you change the slides? You can essentially change the slides also. So you can see the students while you are presenting a material and have a full view of it. If your content is uh, visible enough to you, you can uh, you can just change the slides and keep on uh, talking and seeing the students at the same time. Then we have come up with a very unique uh, feature called uh, multi-student screen share. In this uh, functionality, Shreesh, can you accept the students? So uh, you can see the screen of all the students at the same time. You know, so this functionality allows you to all the students can screen share at the same time while teacher is presenting a material. So teacher, a student, Shirish, can you share your uh, screen share of student, both the one? So are you saying that because, uh, let's say I have a student's writing essays, I can then yeah. ask them to share the screen, all of them? Exactly, all of them. All the students can share the screen at the same time. So now mm -hmm. you can see now Shirish has two students and he's sharing a screen of two students. Shirish. And now you can see because of the tile size being small, you cannot see what the student is exactly writing. So you can uh, increase the size of it by going full screen of the student screen. Now you are seeing what he's writing. And same time you can have your questions. So what you see on top right, students are still looking at teacher's presentation. You know, here you can see he's going to student two and trying to write, uh, uh, see what uh, a second student is presenting. So there are two benefits for it. First, the teacher now has a control. Shirish, can you go to Shirish? So I think step, I think that is so useful, you know, because sometimes when we have discussion in the yeah. classroom, we would want to to have our students sample work, right, to discuss. Yes. So this will give uh, chances to the, to the teacher. Wow, thank yeah, you. Yeah. And also, I think the teacher has a control, uh, Miss Anita. Then that means that. Student cannot just show anything in front of the class. Teacher always have an overview of what student is going to present and teachers can decide if teacher want to share it in front of the class. So Shirish, can you show the student screen and then give teacher casting part? So here you can see that teacher has decided uh, this student work was good and has presented in front of the class. So this, this multi-student screen share is a really good feature which our uh, you know current users are liking it. And it gives a lot of control to the teacher uh, as a benefit of it. Then, uh, then Shirish, maybe we can show the hand raise part before we show the other part of the product. So when a student raises the hand, you can see on people list, on top icon, and also even when you're on smart board, you can go to smart board, you can see a pop-up here. Essentially, a student, whenever, wherever teachers are, teachers can able to see when student is raising the hand. And uh, only when teachers accept it, ask him to speak, allow him to speak, then only he can speak. So that means teachers can continue to uh, teach and not get disturbed by the student. And whenever teacher is ready, teacher can, uh, you know, click on the hand raise button. Actually, can you show the hand raise and uh, click on it? You can, you can click on the hand raise button and then student is able to speak. So this allows teachers again another level of control where teacher can continue to teach and only stop when teachers want questions to be uh, answered around it. So this is on the hand raise mode. So we are planning to bring a lot of future interaction uh, between a teacher and student. But yeah, I mean, there are a couple of interaction uh, currently built inside. Teachers can also request, can you show the three dots? Teachers can also request the video, request the screen share, remove the students from the class. All these uh, interactions are there. 
So this is on the life class experience, uh, Shirish. Uh, Miss Manita, shall we move to end the class and show the product uh, after life class experience? Yes, go ahead. Okay. okay. So this is the chat and everything is there. Uh, Shirish, you can end the class. So here, if any new student has joined the class, teachers can accept the student here. Okay, then the, the we have made the lecture sharing seamless because it's a cloud-based software link classroom. Uh, here you can see there's a five minute, 56 second video and teacher has used entrepreneurship as a lecture file to be shared. So we have made the entire file sharing of a lecture and also any material the teacher has used to share very easy teacher can unshare it also Shirish, can you unshare the file of the lecture pdf you can unshare it also if you don't want to share the material but the moment lecture recording is there you can share it keep it yourself but don't save it the three option given so imagine Shirish is a teacher and he wants to share everything you can just click on the share button and then the lecture recording is shared along with the material which was used to teach so that is the end of the life class journey. Now we have built interaction after the life class or before the life class. So Shirish, can you go into the class? Um, so sorry, Vikas. Sorry, can, can I check again? So it yes. means that after I end my session, I end my yes. class, um, the recording of the lecture will be there. Yes. And any materials that I want to share will be there. And yes. then I believe a recording of uh, another thing of whatever students chat you know in the conversation right yeah in the that's chat, also in the chat box, right so yeah. so that is very important to me because i want to see what's happening during yeah. you know a lesson right so i think that's yeah. that's a very cool uh, feature that yeah. i found yeah. yeah okay go ahead go okay so we can show resources this is the classroom inside this is inside the class you know uh, what are the interactions so we will show first the resources part Shirish, can you go to resources so this is the lecture which was just now conducted. Uh, all these lectures are available in resources. So here, this is the lecture which was recorded. So there are a couple of uh, addition to the lecture. So first student can ask question after the class also. You can see Q&A here. Essentially student, if they have any doubt or teacher wants to answer question, they can answer the questions. Uh, there's a doubt forum, a doubt clearance forum at the lecture video. Second is the reference which teacher shared after the lecture. Here is the file which teacher shared. You know, uh, this is another lecture she is using as a sample. And this has this material. Then also the attendance part is there. Whoever has attended the lecture, the information is available. There are two people attended the lecture. And uh, the entire attendance part is automated. Essentially, teachers can just change the attendance criteria. Now, she has 70%. You can change it to 69 or whatever she is. Here, you can see automatically the attendance changes based on the attendance criteria. The entire attendance part is made easy for teachers so that they don't have to worry about attendance and we can see the attendance in the system. Then in more, Shirish, can you click to more? Here is the what you just now mentioned. The chat history is available. It's available who are the people who came in uh, and you know what was the discussion on the class also the whiteboard file is available you know if you have drawn something you can uh, reuse it for next session so that file mm. is this no. this to me is among the useful features of link yeah because yeah. Uh, while you are doing your teaching you you don't have to worry about all the things that's happening like for example attendance right all the things yeah. that they talk about and then especially the whiteboard drawing i think that's very useful because teachers yeah. would want to go back right and and students yeah. too would want to go back okay go ahead yeah. Mm. Yeah, thank you uh, so then we can go to pinboard shirish so we have a class communication uh, part of it it's like a facebook page of the class itself you know to mm -hmm. for close closed loop uh, discussions here, teachers can make different posts, ask students to uh, clarify anything, make announcement, share any file around it. So Pinboard essentially is like a notice board of teachers and it can have a discussion on any post which is done by a teacher is being differentiated by other people. 
so students are very clear on what is teacher post so you can see here uh, the yellow post is from a teacher and all students have a different post so this is a pin board it's a notice board it's a class communication platform and then we have also scheduling of the class so teachers can schedule the classes here they can go to timetable so there's a very easy to schedule you know in less than 20 seconds you can schedule a class and you can also set multiple time if you want to do the class here so there will be different classes being uh, formed here you can see in future and also you can see the timetable what are the classes today you know what are the classes this week what are the classes this month you can set reminders entire class scheduling and timetable has been put inside for people who are uh, planning different number of sessions so then uh, we can say, yeah please. Sorry, Vikas. once the teacher schedule the class or whatever information uh, written in the classroom the students will get emails for it or yes how, yeah they, they will get emails so, from the old they, email they will get notified Okay. and uh, and they will get notified around these are the classes but they will be notified before the class it will not be they will not get the full semester because this is for teacher only before the class or one day before they will be notified okay cool so then we have a my library Shirish, you can show my library so this is essentially for uh, file sharing we have solved the problem of file sharing we understand uh, a lot of file sharing is done using Google Drive and all, but it's tedious. So we have solved this problem by making file sharing for the entire class. So here you can see there are different topics. Teachers can use library, my library to create their own file so that they can use it for teaching. And also they can share with the entire class. So Shirish, can you share and share a folder? You can see that you this is shared with the entire class and if teacher want to unshare it, they can unshare it from here. So my library allows teachers to store their file, share it with the entire class and all this functionality exists for easy file management. Teachers can reuse these lectures for other lectures also. So this is Link Classroom, what we have launched. Uh, Ms. Anita, if you want, I can show you also what are the features we are planning to launch in future. Um, we are actually already 22 minutes now. Okay. okay. So, you, you know, yeah. yeah. So if you want to show us how, let's say I, I am a teacher or I am a trainer, a lecturer who would like to try out uh, link yeah. class. So what do I do next? So uh, can you sign out? Uh, we have a demo, you know, for 14 days demo currently available for new teachers. And uh, Shirish, can you sign out, please? So if a teacher wants to try the product because of the mm -hmm. trial we are offering, uh, they can go on the website, Link Classroom, mm -hmm. sign up as I am a teacher and they can start using the product. It's very simple. It's, you know, it's like a Gmail. You just sign up and start using the product. And uh, there is a trial available for that. Right. Okay. So any Gmail, any Yahoo mail, or any institution any. mail. Yeah. Any, okay. Any so any email, simply sign up as a teacher and then start trying out. So my aim is to have this uh, information about link and how to use it so that, yeah. you know, uh, I do know some teachers who are currently having a lot of classes, you know, um, online classes, right? Uh, since we've had COVID and I, I do know several teachers who will, who will appreciate you know this this hard work of yours uh, because yeah, because it's you. so difficult for us teachers who do not know anything about technical stuff but need yeah. to manage the whole thing it's not easy yes. yeah, yeah so so I, the, the reason why i love uh, link class is i simply push a button teach it online and then yeah. all the information is there right and yeah. all the analytics for me all the attendance so that to me has been very useful yeah. 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 Okay. I think this is something which was, uh, you know, make us separate. We know Zoom and, you know, Teams, they were not designed for education part. Link yeah. Classroom is designed from the input of teachers and it's only for education. That makes us uh, very unique as a yeah. product uh, and helps solve the challenges of online teaching. Right. Okay. So let's say after I use it and then I, I need help. So where do I go for support? Okay. So there is a support button there on top. You know, uh, it can be used here. And can you show 
so there's a support button you can uh, write to us from that yeah. and all type of clarification uh, can be addressed within a very short time span right okay but also if you are teachers in malaysia or trainers from malaysia you can also contact me yeah uh, i always have my number and my email uh in my group in my facebook so obviously you know i'll link you to to the team uh in link classroom um and then i think this has been a very useful overview uh vikas and shirish uh is there anything else you want us to know uh me? no i think uh nothing we we just plan to launch a lot of new feature this is a SaaS product so we mm -hmm. we believe in uh, improving it you know we have designed a good roadmap for it where we will be launching quizzing assignment many problems we will solve over time in next mm -hmm. uh, few months and yeah we will keep on evolving this product to solve all the problems which teachers are facing mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much, Vikas and Shirish and Leonard too, uh, for coming on board. Yeah, with me on uh, Facebook, and I I will put this recording in all uh, obviously first in our YouTube and then uh, in all uh, Facebook groups. Yeah, that teachers yeah. are in, uh, and I do hope that we continue to to converse on this. Yeah, continue to yeah. show demos because I believe a lot of teachers need this as of now and we don't know when COVID will be over so i believe yes. that a lot of teachers will appreciate what you have done so far thank yes. you so much vikas and shirish yes. uh, so we'll yeah. catch up later yeah so i'm just yeah. gonna end the broadcast thanks yeah. everyone thanks everyone okay. thank you, Bye. Bye. Thank you.